beautiful Capricorns and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Capricorn, we are looking into this week of January 17th to the 23rd. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. Capricorn, happy birthday to my Capricorn sons out there. Wishing you a happy, blessed, and abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. If you are interested in winning a free reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe and comment your name in the comments section down below. Please check the community page every Monday for a new winner announced. Capricorn, we are getting you a number for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. Capricorn, your number is triple zero. I am a creator. All right, Cappy. This card says, you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. All right, so stepping into your creative power, stepping into who you are meant to be in this lifetime, we are all meant to be powerful creators of our own reality. And some of you Capricorns are stepping into that for the first time. Others of you, you are absolutely reaching a new level of your creative abilities. So let's see what Metatron has here for you Capricorn. Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, let's see what Metatron got for you. And you have Chakra Light Body. Wow, card 38. Look at you, Capricorn. You are in the zone. Your chakras are in alignment. You are feeling stable and you are feeling that surge of energy from spirit where you really are tapping into your creative power. Wow, Capricorn, that's a beautiful set of cards there. Let's get you another one from Metatron. And you have 13, Air, Fly Free. Wow, so Capricorn, you are coming into the realization that your possibilities are endless. You are an earth sign, so sometimes that is something that is difficult for earth energies to obtain and hold true, but a lot of you are really stepping into this new sense of being where you're a lot more connected to your higher self, a lot more connected to spirit, and you're a lot more connected to the energies around you, especially within you. Let me get another card here from Metatron. Why is air here fly free? It's like you're not confined by your belief system any longer of can't. You're stepping into the can now. Yes. Heaven and earth as above, so below card 41. Yeah. Wow. You are coming into the realization Capricorn that your inner being matches your outer life. And a lot of you Capricorns not to get, not to come at you a little bit. Pessimism, negativity only creates and attracts more pessimism and negativity. Um, some of you, you may have had some bad habits. You may have had some things that you were very hard let go of. Looks like you're letting go of them because you're coming to the realization that you are a mirror to your life. You see this as above, so below heaven and earth. You are mirroring your life from within and you're really coming to the realization that if I'm negative, I'm going to attract negative experiences. If I'm positive, I'm going to attract in positive experiences. Some of you Capricorns may have been so like, why is everybody so argumentative with me? Why is everybody so difficult? And you're coming to the realization where you're looking within yourself and you're like, where am I difficult? Where am I very negative? Where am I very pessimistic? And you're getting this surge of energy to create Beautiful new experiences for yourself. Powerful, powerful set of cards, Capricorn. Now that is beautiful. So let's see what we got going on here with the tarot for you, Cappy. 
Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Sorry for my dogs going crazy right now. The star. There it is. The star in this card. They are mixing the earthly plane with the water here, which necessarily would be um, the heaven and earth. As above, so below. The star. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Cups. Yes, Capricorn. There is so much more love. There's so much more positivity. Oh my God, why is everything so loud for you right now? Um, there's so much more love. There's so much more positivity to your life now. And it starts within you. Wow. A lot of you Ace of Cups, this is a renewed found love that you're finding within yourself. And it's really going to mirror in your reality where people are going to be a lot more loving towards you, a lot more nicer, a lot more caring, a lot more sweet, a lot more stable and secure as well. Some of you, your workplace scenario gets a lot more calmer as well. Some of you, you may deal with a lot of drama at work or just things constantly go wrong for you. And you're coming to the realization that you sit in the car and you expect your day to be bad when you go to work. You're shifting that. You're like, all right, I'm realizing where I'm kind of setting myself up for the day of what's to come with the attitude I have when I wake up with in realization I can really create how my day goes despite what comes my way. This is power, power, power here for you, Capricorn. Let's clarify this. The star with the temperance card, y'all. Both cards with them two canisters of water, mixing them. Temperance, the star giving to both and also mixing, you are really stepping into a cycle of peace. And this is different. This is a lot different than what you're used to, what you're used to feeling, what you're used to attracting. Knight of Pentacles with the moon and the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups. Beautiful. So some of you Capricorns are definitely going to feel a lot more connected to somebody as well. Could it be a friend, could be a family member, could be a lover, could be a coworker, whomever that you've been feeling like there has been a lot of negativity around or a very large lack of peace. There's definitely a energy of sharing this love with somebody around you. Sharing this new being with an energy around you. Two cups here, two cups here, two cups here. There's definitely somebody that you are giving or... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sharing this positive energy with. Some of you, your friendships become more positive. Your relationships at work become more positive. At home come more positive. Or definitely love. Spirit, please clarify this for Capricorn once more. We have temperance with the two of wands. Yeah, you are ready. You're realizing that where you have been is no longer serving you. The belief system that you've been sitting in is no longer serving you. Possibly you had a very strong belief system about being closed off emotionally with the night with the moon here. Some of you are just deciding to be more open emotionally and it really, really changes your life. With the moon, we have the Ten of Swords, beautiful, putting an end to that emotional closed off energy. And on the Two of Cups, we have the Lovers. Yeah, there's definitely somebody here that is going to be sharing this beautiful new energy with you that you're feeling within yourself. Could be you and your lover that are just connecting at a much beautiful... Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. One of the lights turned off behind me um, on a much more, I want to say healing level, peaceful level for sure. Others of you definitely could be um, connecting to, I feel like anybody around you in just a much more positive way. Clarify this one more time for Cappy. Two of wands with the four of wands. Yeah, this happiness is just 
down that path. It's like, you know it now. It's like you're coming to the clarity of what you have to do to create better relationships in your life. Ten of Swords, the Sun, the Moon to the Sun. Some of you Capricorns are definitely opening up your heart here. The Lovers with the Chariot, yes. And it's creating beautiful movement forward for connections around you. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. This can definitely be with more than one energies. Energies in your family, energies with love, friends, whatever the case may be. You're going to be very surprised at what happens when you turn a little bit softer, Capricorn, and I know that's different for you. I know that's new for you. You're 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 comfortable with being in that tough exterior. You're comfortable with keeping your emotions to yourself, not saying too much, not doing too much, not being too much, but either somebody is sparking this within you, a lover, or you just feel the need to do this to grow a connection. Or there is an extreme sense of wish fulfillment here where just a community that you're part of just feels a lot more connected. Everybody just feels a lot better. Family dynamic, whatever the case may be. Beautiful reading. This is a nice birthday reading here for you, Capricorn. In terms of zodiac signs, I have Pisces, I have Leo, I have Gemini, I have Aquarius, I have Sagittarius, and I have Cancer. Could really be dealing with anybody. We're now going to get your romantic love for this week. Some of you, absolutely, this could be around love. But let's see what we got going on. Spirit, this is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. All right, we have here offer. There's that Ace of Cups. We have union. Yep, coming together with someone. And we have mask. Yep, finally taking off that mask. Whether you or them, uh, maybe could have been both of you a little bit wearing a mask. Neither of you really wanting to be too open or possibly, you know, the lack of openness on your end or on their end may have caused the other person to hide how they feel as well. Let's clarify this here for Capricorn. We have offer with admired. We have union with regret. And we have mask with conclusion. Yeah, there it is. The mask is coming off. Union with regret. I feel like somebody definitely, definitely um, either caused some sort of not the greatest energy here. And now it's like somehow getting renewed here. Let's clarify this once more for Capricorn. Um, possibly you may regret how closed off you've been. They may have regret how much they were closed off or possibly there was some sort of issues here that created the closed off energy. We have admired with healing. Mm -hmm. We have regret with signs and we have conclusion with observer. Yeah. You two are no longer sitting in the shadows of one another. You two are no longer just like seeing what's going on. How is this? What is this the good day to say how I feel? you or them. There's this beautiful healing, right? The star, the temp, it came up all on that position there. That's why I don't take flyers. The cards come up very synchronized. Um, I do feel like if somebody messed up here, they have extreme regrets and they really want to heal and make things right. I feel like it could be you. It could be them. I feel like it could be either of you, but I definitely do feel like there is a heavy watching mode where the person who was done wrong is still in this observant position of watching the other person. But I still do feel like there is this let's try to connect and let's try to heal and make this connection work. And others of you definitely could be new love here that really helps you heal your past and what you've been through. But that's what I have here for you, Capricorn. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy birthday once again. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.